Ahoy shipmates, today from Gripping Beast we have, let's see if I can uh, ruin the pronunciation here, Godfrey de Bouillon, Crusader Hero, SHC801, yep, this is for your Crusader army. Beautiful miniature. As you can see, I've cleaned it up. There wasn't a lot of cleanup to do. Um, you have to stick the sword hand on. I like that, and a much neater job. Um, bodies in one piece, horses in one piece. So I've got them all glued up together. Centerfall highlighted with Flair Black and Flair Grey and used my PBO pumice on the base. Okay, so let's crack on. First, I'm going to use some uniform gray. Blue pot with some like that. I'll save the nice brush for a minute. Let's get use my regiment brush. I'm just gonna this is just gonna be like a paint along video, so This right down. Make it more even more than that. There we go. It's better. I want some of this uh, black undercoat to show through. Give us some free shading. We do love free shading. Just change the uh, paper on the wet palette so it's still slurping away. There we go, keeping it nice and Transparent. There we go. We got the you can see some of the darker areas are showing through now, which is what we wanted. Next, I think we will put down the base layer of flesh. So, what we're going to do today, we're going to add a look at the paint drop on the website. It's very nice. Nice choice of colours. So, we're going to go with the same sort of colours. We're just not going to quite. We're going to do it the cheeky way to so make it a little bit quicker. And I'll swap over to the Kalinsky brush. I've just seen how long this one lasts. It's, it's uh, doing well. Noisy road sweeper going past or something. 
So like that chats with this snoring dog as well. So I'm lay down some of the base colours quite early on here. So we're doing this quite a quick style to get you on the table, but as it's a hero miniature, we're just a little bit more work. Give that extra little ping. Is that the word I'm looking for? I don't know. So that's that down. Next, I think, let's just turn that back on. We're gonna put some metal in. And it's quite early, but he's got a lot of chain metal. Let's get it in there. So I'll see you when I've done that. So we can shorten the video just a little bit. Okay, so we've popped the gun metal silver over all our metal parts. Well, not all of them, we're gonna save some for a bit of gold. Now I'm going to get a drop of our Crusader skin. Over the place today, aren't I? Sorry, I'll try and I'll set my camera up in a slightly different place. It's trying a slightly zoomed in version today as well, so hopefully that stays in focus nicely. Okay, so that's the Crusader skin. So next, I'll use the dark tone. I don't think it's picking up the uh, focus quite as well, so. Alright, so we need a slightly bigger brush here. I'm going to go to, this is a character, but it's a slightly worn down one. I'm going to have a just thin that black out a little bit. Hit all the chain mail with this. A big sight from the dog. Up on the sword there. Like this mini, it's a nice uh, good action pose on it. Mm. Do his whole crusader skin then. Yeah, I think it's auto focusing a bit, so. Right next, we're going to water it down a little bit more, and I'm going to just go over the horse. And I really want this black just settling in around all the reins. But you see how thin I've got that going. I'll just compare it to this end, which hasn't been. You see the difference there? Let's thin that out a bit. Once it's on there and your, your paint's dry, you can really move this stuff around, which is good. 
but I really just want to get it into those deeper recesses. That's good. Just working our way around slowly, and then once we've got round back to the start, we'll go around to see how it's settling. This is the bit where you can. Uh, Add a little bit more, take some away. Say, for instance, you want to take some away, wash your brush, dry out a bit on the sponge. Then, if we look into that crack there, just wick it away. Wick, wick, wick. A bit too much in there. So, yeah, this is some you want to do onto the higher areas. Let it pull up a little bit in the recesses. I want, I want it to anyway. Um, not to any excess. Not crazy. Okay, so a bit much around there, so let's just take some off. Wait, quick, quick. Okay, I'm not happy with that. As you can see, the, the flesh is really doing its work. That's really cool. I like that. Okay. Next, we're going to do his cape, and we're going to do that in a blue, I think. We're going to use a dark sky. I should really be saving all these paints out, which is nice. I can do a photograph at the end. So we've used gunmetal, we've used blue. Speed paint. There we go. We're up to date. I'll do the photograph at the end like I usually do anyway. Okay, so let's let's use our regiment brush. It's a nice point on at the moment. We're gonna add some of our medium. Really get that palette working. Let's see how thin that's going on. I'm doing that because we want our free shading. Give us our free shading. Hmm. And then that watered down paint do its work. Let that dry. That's the only thing is when you're using that wet paint, it does take a little longer to dry. And of course, you've only got a really tiny, thin layer of paint on there, so you've got to be quite careful. Next, we want Elven Flesh. 
It's my new friend. It's I don't use it as a flash. I use it as kind of um, so his sleeves. Just water it down a little bit, just so in those dark shadowed areas, change the uh, body of the paint. Okay. From work different areas so you can so you can keep painting and working and painting and working this little bit of too much washing this we're just gonna still whip that out okay we're gonna let him have a little bit of a dry so we don't ruin anything so I'll be back in a minute okay that's dried off a bit let's have a look at what we've got Okay, so it's starting to work. So that's just one layer of blue on there at the moment, so that's quite good. Next we're gonna go for some ash grey. That's our next tone up from that one. And we use our nice blue brush, we're gonna Again, we're going to put plenty of medium very wishy-washy now all these these high ridges of muscle we're just gonna even looser than that All I did then was watered it down a little bit more. So this is one of our first highlights. I'm just going to work it up to the uh, kind of recessed parts. You're looking for the, all the high places. Oh, excuse me. So where the sun's going to catch. Not that horses are shiny, just that's the way it works. Okay. So just work your way around, leaving the the darker grey in there and if if it, if you look at it and think mm, that's quite a big area of shadow there just come in a bit more lighter grey and just smooch it down but I tend to go round first do a rough one thinking use your lamp as the sun I'm gonna work from there that's where it's catching you can emphasize some of it. It looks a bit cooler. There we go. It's just that starting to work around. And work around a couple of times. And then we're gonna swap to an even lighter grey. So I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so I've been around twice with that grey. So it's building up quite nicely. And we're gonna leave it to dry out thoroughly in a, for a sec. Once that's drying. Got some blue tone. Mm. 
I'm just going to drop that all over that cloak. That's just going to reinforce that colour. You could have built up the colours with, like I'm doing on the horse, with that blue. Um, you've got that finish in fairness, but I'm trying to save a little bit of time on these miniatures. Because I think it's really important to get them done and get them on the table. <laughs> so does my dog. He's now snoring like mad. Which is just what you want in a vid. Okay, so next we are going to... I think we'll start putting that red that red in. We're going to start with Abomination Gore. Yeah, that auto focus is going crazy while I've gone to that setting. We'll have a look at the end, see how we're doing. Okay. Yeah, let's use our nice pointy Kalinsky brush. I think I call it a Vallejo brush, and if it's not, it's army paint out. Kalinsky. with beautiful lines, that's for sure. Okay, so we're going to work around all the all the leather work on this one. So, look on them there. Just wet your brush. Neaten it all up. There we go. So I'll work around all the bridle, the top of his uh, saddle there, and all the red bits. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so I've done all the uh, level work in that base red. Next, we're going to use some elf green. down a little bit I'm just gonna do his lickings I guess under all the bits you never see. I've missed the straps up here, it's not a problem. I've still got some on my wet palette. So I'll just fill them in. They're well worth the uh, the purchase. This I was using this army paint one is getting on with it really well. I 
they've got a minute gripping beast now. I've pestered them to increase their stock or we'll double check. Let's say Pirate Rich sent me. I'd like a wet palette, please. And some and some crusaders. Yeah, why not? Okay, so that's that one done. So now we're looking for a sort of beige colour. I think the, the video's decided it's gonna pick up something in the background, I'm afraid. So I have to excuse it zooming in and out. This is Banshee Brown. Bottom of his padded. I don't know what that was called. Padded jacket. There's probably a very technical name for that that I don't know. Gives me that bit showing, I think. That's okay. It shows. You must paint it. Okay, next we're going to grab our secret weapon Valeria Model Air Burnt Umber. Don't tell everyone because they will buy it and there'll be none left for me. Boots with that. Two for one. Not forgetting the backs. I'm not going to go up behind the shield. It speeds up your paint quite a bit. If you can use one colour paint for a few things, it does speed you up somewhat. I've got some straps over his arm in there. I'll just hit them with them. Drop a bit into his hand for that grip. I think this would be a good hair colour as well. As you can see from where it's going on the hair there, this is the paint's quite fits in with what we're doing, it's quite translucent. So where it's got a lot of grey undercoat on there. It should give us some nice highlights. For free. Okay. So next what we're going to do is I'm going to put some gold on the sword handle and his brooch and stuff, so I'll be back when I've done that. Okay, so we've just whipped round and dropped some gold on there, as you can see. Next, we're going to go back to the grey now. So this is a very, very light grey spaceship exterior. Back to our Kalinsky brush. I'm just watering that down with some more medium, and then 
I'm just going to highlight the highlights. A little bit strong, let's just put a bit more in it. Let's have a little bit more medium. That's better. What you're looking for is just being able to see through the paint you're putting on. I'm just going for the high points of the places I've already highlighted. If you get a bit of runoff like that, just wash your brush out. Move it about. You can get a little bit of that as you make your paint thinner because it does tend to whoop. Zip over. I want to go in those um, recesses where we're dark. We don't want that. We want to sit up on the basically those highlights. And work around the horse, and then I'll be back. I might put start shield because shield's gonna be white, so we might start off with this gray. Okay, I see we've done those gray highlights now. We start the shield off with a bit of gray. Next, I'm going to my black. This is um, not pure. Games Workshop Black, this is like a very watered down black. You'll see as it goes on, it's got a lot of the medium I make on in there. So you'll see that it's quite translucent. Right. Not paving itself. There, so I'll just put a bit of medium in it. There we go. Kind of top it up with whatever black's available, and then I put medium in it. I'm just gonna do some of the hues and come up the leg a little bit. So if it's nice and thin, you can always go back and put some more on. And it's gonna give you a better effect. Beautiful, you see the grey for that. Just want a little bit more strength in it. As we're done with men, you should see what you did on his hair. That that white's going to show through. Black, you can give us a lovely bit of free shading. Get a bit of black on your brush. 
this point and just touch in the eyes. Yep, that's good. I'll do that. Let's just put a bit separating those ears out. What do we do? Okay, so that drawing. I just once I've got the brush handy, just this is that spaceship exterior again, that very light grey. Just very thinly building it up. It's a bit easier when we get to the white. And there we go. Let's get in there now. So we can do the eyeballs. So I'm going to get that brush away. Get my little psycho buddy. Boom. They're quite dear, but they do last a long time if you keep the plasticky bit on them and you're going to use them for. Well, I use them really tiny detail. Gonna paint the whole miniature of them, they ain't gonna last very long. That's how that crumbles, right? So, we're gonna make sure it's nice and wet, Let's load it up, lock everything off. Just paint the eyeball in, it's that easy. Don't, don't over complicate this. Get in there, put that white on, done, boom. Okay, so we're gonna just, why that white's drying, let's grab the black. It doesn't take very long at all because it's only a little tiny dot of paint, so. Make sure you've just got a little bit on your brush. Boom. Okay. Nice. Wash out the side game. Put your brush protector back on. Next, I'm just going to look at the um, his padded jacket and his sleeve. There, we're going to use a soft tone. Oh no, we're not. We're going to use light tone. Light tone's got a bit more of a sepia feel about it than the other one. Use a smaller beat up detail brush. This is the one I saved to use for the uh, metallics and stuff. It's nearly worn to pieces. You could use a soft tone for this if you want a bit of a Brown, I look to it. That's going to be on the shield there. And then we get, I'm going to load that quilted area up with this. And just move it around the arm to where you want it. I'm going to drop a little bit on the neck there. Nice. Next, I'm going to grab my Linsky brush again. And I'm going to go back to our original flesh colour, which is our Barbarian flesh. I'm just going to start highlighting. So it's nose, 
eyebrows across the top of the forehead. Cheekbones, edge of the jawbone, ear bone. <laughs> Glad to say it really. It's not like I was going to burst into this all now, would it? But it's only going to be more this side, so we're going to leave it like that. And his hand, that thumb is going to catch a lot of light. the top of his fingers and just taper those back out a little bit I don't think I might put a little tiny just a dot of light on his hand on his shield just to show it some love Okay, so how are we getting on? Do a little bit of dappling on his horse, but I don't think it needs it, in fairness. The focus has been really strange today, sorry guys. So, I'm pretty happy with what we got there. Oh. No, I'm not. I've just decided I'm not. I'm not happy with what we've got there. We can do a bit more. So, pure red. We're going to start building that red up. Let's go crazy. Thin that out a little bit. And do the same like we did with the horse. We're looking for the high, high values says so anywhere that's being caught by the sun we still want to leave some of that other red showing so we're going to thin it a little bit so it's that top edge if we can just edge highlight that a bit and just touch in all the rings that's really where it's going to be at the brightest. Across the top of his saddle. Yes. Across the top of that edge. Then any bits on, you can follow where the muscles are, that's so there the muscles raising the reins a little bit, so. These top edges. Warring it down a bit. Room for that top edge. That top edge is where the sun's going to come off the top of that leather. Then we'll work back round with the same colour, just trying to find, really look for whether the sun is really going to catch the highs.
pretty making it ping now. Okay, then what we're going to do, just take it one step more, we're going to have Mars Red, it's very orangey red. Yeah, nice flare on our brush, and we are literally just going to hit corners and edges, and blurry vision. Come on, come on, oh, okay. So there's my apologies for the focus today, guys. I don't know what's, what's going on. I think I might put my camera in a different place and it's picking up different things to focus on, but hopefully it's not wrecked it for you. So yeah, I was just gonna go around and catch the real highs and the real edges. Could even go up the next one to a higher orange than this, but we're not, we're gonna stop after this one. You get the idea, you just keep working it up and working it up. as well while we're here we've got that elven flesh and we're just gonna where we left all that wash over the top we're just gonna ping a bit of this to re-establish the highlights Don't get too fussy with that maybe we can tidy up his Cloak a little bit, water that blue down, and just where that dark blue is prevalent, we're just going to run the, our water down. Blue just smooth some of those shady bits out. So we're just going into where the wash was sitting quite heavy and we're just going to give it more of a natural shape with the paint. Then we just drop another layer of grey. Building up nice now. actually use that rather than paint it white in fairness. So literally all that's left to do now is that shield. You could take let's let's take uh yeah I think so. I think we're quite happy with that there. That's a, that's a pretty good level for him. Obviously his face is nice Horse is nice. Yeah. 
So I can't paint the base at the moment because it's still drying. But I use the oak brown water down so the white shows through. And then I'm going to dry brush it with the um, beige colour. And that's kind of it really. Just got to paint the shield device on but I can't do that yet because the shield's drying. So I'll do that and get some stills and put the stills at the end. So that was kind of like a paint along today. It is a beautiful miniature. I really, really do like this one. Um, so you could work a lot more into that, but I think for the time we've taken on it, that's good. Where do you think? Well, I hope that's been helpful and informative. If it has, I could ask you to uh, subscribe and a like, etc., and a share maybe. And don't forget, we do the live paint alongs on a Friday evening. And um, watch Pirate Rich Paints on Facebook and Twitter for more info. Also, Griffin Beast are doing a cracking job of keeping people informed for me. That's brilliant. Thanks a lot, guys. And I'll see you next time. Hopefully with a more in-focus camera. My apologies for that. Hope it didn't wreck it too much. And, yeah. Cheers, and guys, I'll see you next time.